Hello, my name is Darren Thomas, and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this particular video, we're going to be learning about how to manipulate and use table of contents that, that feature using our markdown. So let's go ahead and see what we can learn. So here I am inside our studio, <clears throat> and the majority of our text is going to be right here. This is the code. I have it, you know, commented out because I want to go through it step by step. Now we do have some stuff underneath here. These are just for, you know, headings and everything. And I have a little bit of code here as a printout. The purpose will be clear in a second. And so now let me just run this code as it is, and then we'll go into the details. Okay, so if you look off to your right, you can see we have, this is the title. This comes from line two of our code right here. The author comes from line three. The date comes from line four. I think you can see that. Obviously, also, this is, this is an HTML document because you have different features for a table of contents when you use an HTML document. And then after that, I just have these different headings here. So if you use one hashtag, you can see here in line 14, uh, you get a heading one. And then two hashtags, you get a subheading like this. Um, for the sake of spreading out my headings, I just put in this code here to print out the, the data inside the MT cars data set just to spread things out. Again, this will make more sense when we start to play with the table of contents features. And then below that, I have some more subheadings, sub subheadings, etc. That's all I'm doing here. This is just for demonstration purposes. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna uncomment line seven here, and we're gonna say, yes, we want a table of contents. So you can see TLC, colon, yes, that's it. So here's our first one. We run this. And so you can see if we scroll up to the top here, we now have a table of contents. So if I click on any of these, it'll take me straight to that heading. So if I click here, it takes me to subheading one, which is my MT cars data set. I go back up and click on heading two. It'll scroll me down to heading two. And so maybe now you can see why I put this data in here. It helps to spread out my my heading so they're not all in one place. So when I click, the, the screen actually moves. So you can see how that works. Now you can see right here that we have a lot of different sub, uh, uh, we have uh, three levels of depth here. Now if that's too much, we can actually manipulate the amount of depth that it goes. So in line number eight here off to the left, I'm gonna put it at table of contents or TLC underscore depth to two so that I don't get all those subheadings in my table of contents if I do not want that. So I'm just gonna click on knit again. And so I don't know if you can pay attention to this, but the sub subheadings are gone. And I just have, this is level one, level two, the level threes are gone because I, I limited the depth to two. So if you like that or not, it's up to you, but we're just gonna keep going. Now, right now, if you look closely at my table of contents, it has bullets. So a black bullet for a heading one, white bullets for subheadings. I can also change these to numbers if I want. If you look at the code here off to the left and line number nine, where I say number sections, colon, yes. So I click on this. And you can see this, the small change here. I still have the bullets, but now I have the, the one in front of it. So heading one, and then 1.1, 1 .1, and 1.2, and then two, and then 2.1. Again, if you have a really complicated document, that might be useful, but it really depends on the situation. Another thing that you can do also is you can float the table of contents. So let me see if this will work. All right, so yeah, you gotta actually, that and also this one too as well. So you gotta collapse it or not. So if I say no to collapsing, it'll always be there. Or it won't shrink. Uh, again, this will make sense in a second. Let me go ahead and run this again. All right, so here my table of contents is off to the side. I can click here or click there. Again, this is for HTML documents. This will also work for PDF documents, but it will not work if you make a Word document. So I click here and you can see how it moves around. If I change collapse to yes, watch the slight change. And so now when I click on something, watch how the subheading disappear. 
they disappear and it moves to that. If I click up here, you can now see the subheadings for heading number one. I click here, it stays open like that. If I change the depth to three, it'll be even more complex. You'll get the point in a second. All right, now my sub subheadings are here. I click here, it disappears. I click here, all right. You can see how that works, so it'll collapse. And you can also change the scrolling. So right now the scrolling is smooth, but you can have it where it just goes really fast and just appears. Again, let me just show you how this works. Okay, so when I click on this, it just moves fast. There's no scrolling up. It just moves there instantaneously. And that's the difference. Now again, whether you want that or not, it really just depends on your goals in terms of how you present and share your information, but it is possible. And so those are pretty much the main features of the table of contents that we wanted to cover here. So let me see if I can summarize and conclude this video. So in this particular video, we learned about how to manipulate the features of table of contents when you are using our markdown. So you can see here in line seven to 12, the different options that we played with. Line seven, you enable the table of contents. In line eight, you can manipulate the depth if you desire. Line number nine here, you can number the sections if you desire. In line numbers 10 and 11, you can float the table of contents. Instead of it being at the top, it'll be off to the side, as you can see in our example here off to the right. You can collapse the table of contents if you want, like in line 11. And you can also manipulate whether or not it's, it scrolls smoothly or not. And again, this is a matter of preference for your, your style of presenting information. So that concludes this video. I want to thank you for watching again. My name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Thank you again for watching and you take care.